Stable Diffusion 3 is out, and in order to use it this early, you'll need to use Comfy UI. I haven't previously covered how to install Comfy UI, so that's what I'll be showing you here. And if you want to download Stable Diffusion 3, you'll find a link down below showing you exactly how to do that in Comfy UI. So let's get into it. Obviously, you can install Comfy UI normally or manually, but I've created a one-line installer you can type in and run to get everything set up as well as all of the requirements with minimal effort, and it's completely free, completely open source. If you'd like to support me on future endeavors like this, make sure to become a member to this troubleshoot channel, or you can visit tc.ht slash support to find out other ways to support me. Let's get into it. So, in order to install Comfy UI, I'll be using the one-line installer that I created on Windows. Simply hit start, type in PowerShell, or terminal if you'd like to use that instead on Windows 11, right click it and choose run as administrator. When it opens up, just make sure it says PowerShell at the very top, otherwise click the drop down and choose PowerShell here. Then, now that we're all in the same place, simply type in or copy from down below IEX space inside of brackets IRM comfy.tc.ht as such, closing brackets and enter. By running this, it'll simply connect to this website, which is my website, and if we visit it in our browser, you'll see exactly how the script works. It's completely open source. Anyways, when it fires up for the first time, you may see something slightly different. Just follow along with the on-screen instructions in order to get everything working properly. It should, first of all, ask you where you'd like to install it. And if you've used the installer previously, you'll see the default is C slash TCH team. This is the path that I'm using and am comfortable with, so I'll just hit N or Enter in order to skip this prompt and continue installation. At this point, it'll install Chocolaty so it can manage dependencies like Git, ARIA 2C for faster downloads, NVIDIA CUDA, which is downloaded and installed as well if you haven't already got it. This could take quite a while and everything like that. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can still use your CPU in order to use Comfy UI, and the installation should take that into mind anyways. Obviously, you won't be downloading NVIDIA stuff without an NVIDIA card. It's all handled automatically. Right now, it's downloading the latest version of CUDA, and it should automatically install it, so we'll just need to wait for this. Once it's done, it'll ask you about installing CUDNN, which is something you can do, but I'll be skipping over it here, so I'll leave it as the default of no. I'll just hit enter to continue. Now, if you have something like Conda or Miniconda Anaconda installed to manage your Python installations, you can choose yes here. Otherwise, it'll skip this completely and the program will manually install Python if it doesn't already detect it. It picked up that I'm running Python 2 on my system, even though I'm running Python 3. So I'll enter the correct command for me, which is Python 3. You can check this in a new tab or a new console as such. Just type in Python hyphen capital V in order to check the version. You can see I'm running Python 3.9 here, so the command I need to use is just Python. I'll go ahead and enter that in here and hit enter. Now, if it just doesn't detect that it's correct, you can skip over it anyways, which I'll be doing here, and it'll start downloading the actual Comfy installation. So this is the official Comfy UI release, the latest one from GitHub, and you can find it in the description down below should you want to install this manually. You can just scroll down here on the official Comfy UI GitHub page to installing Comfy UI. Then, after you click this, choose Direct Download, and it'll download this 7 file we're currently downloading here. Anyways, I'll just wait for this to finish. Once it's done, it'll extract, move everything around, and even create desktop shortcuts to make life a lot simpler. You can install all of this manually yourself if you don't want to trust my open source one-line installer, but it really simplifies things. Anyways, we'll wait for this to finish. Then it'll extract everything, which could take a short while. And then we go, now I'll just hit yes or hit enter in order to create a desktop shortcut. Obviously, it's not an official icon. It's one that I created. And shortly after, it'll launch the actual program. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, it'll launch the NVIDIA version and it should pop up in your browser. Oh, and it seems like I typoed something, so it didn't launch the correct version for me. It'll be fixed when you get it. Anyways, the shortcuts on your desktop. I'll close out of this here now that the installation is done. And here is the Comfy UI shortcut. I'll open it here. And there we go. Now it's running the correct version. Your browser should pop up and bam, Comfy UI is now successfully completely installed. To close it, you can just close your browser window and close this program or this window over here. That's it. It's that simple. If you need to get to the installation folder for Comfy UI to download models and things like that, you can right click the shortcut here and choose open a file location. This will open up the default location for me in CTCHT Comfy UI, but for you, this may be different if you told it to install somewhere else. 
And here you can do everything you'd usually do with the normal portable installation of Comfy UI. And that's it. At this point, you can generate images if you have things like Stable Diffusion already downloaded. If not, you can simply open up the installation folder, Comfy UI, followed by Models over here, and then the Checkpoints folder. In here, you can drop things like Stable Diffusion 1.5, etc. I'll copy a model I've already downloaded into here. Then we'll click refresh and it should select the only available model in my case, or we can click it to pick from a drop down. I'll queue a prompt here, and just like that, we should have the image created as such as soon as it finishes off. And there we go. This is the normal default image that we get creating this. I'll open the image, and there you go. That's what we got out of this. Should you wish to install Stable Diffusion 3, which again, you'll find a link for down below, you'll essentially just be dropping it in this folder here, and you're done. Anyways, I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and a special thank you to my ultimate supporter, Superior Emerald. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.